Hey you guys, it's me Thomas, the train thing number one here. And as you can see, I have this Thomas Crayola Color Wonder um, coloring sheet. Hang on a minute, there's still some like weird stuff on this book here. Uh, I don't mind, they're just little erase bits. So, yeah, I'm going to be coloring in this super cute little sheet that I love so much. Well, wait a minute, what, what the heck? When did that get there? Whoa, whatever. Wait, is there something on my hand or something? I don't know. But whatever. Anyways, we're going to be coloring in the super cute sheet here. So, we're going to start with Thomas's pretty blue paint work. So, first, I just got to try to open up this marker here. Hang on for one quick second. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. So, if you can tell, this is a marker, except you can hardly see the color. But, watch what happens. See? Look. The colors, like, magically appear. Whenever you, like, color it, like, along. Like that. Isn't that cool? It's pretty easy and simple to use, so... If only I had a tripod. That way you guys could still watch... And just listen to my instructions, so... Yep. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Like, you can even personalize it, too. Like, if you want to, you can, like, write, I love Thomas, or something like that. So, yep. It's really cool, isn't it? Focus. Okay. So this is pretty simple. It's mess free, so if you like color it on something, the colors won't appear or anything like that. Yeah. But, um, if you guys, like, want to, um, like, color it with, like, a different marker, and, and you're like, ooh, is this gonna be, like, blue or something? You guys are gonna be wrong, because of the colors that you use, like, Hang on for one quick second. Okay, so if you're going to use this gray marker and you want to like color in like uh, Thomas's like steam gray and you wanted it to be red, for example, you'd be like, no, I want this to be red or something like that or something. You just have to like look at the tip and the lid that this thing is like protected by. Then you can like use the right color for it too. So, yeah. You have to be careful to use the right colors. Well, you can actually use any color you want to. Tom looks like a cute little clown there. He's like, <laughs> Yeah. You can use any color you want to. But I would recommend you guys to, like, use the right colors. Like, that way you can, like, look at a prototype picture. And, yeah. This is pretty fun and simple to do. Yeah, but if you don't want it to get into the eyes, I recommend you guys be careful not to get into Thomas's eyeball or anything like that. So, yeah, this is pretty fun and simple. Especially since this is, like, for youngsters. So. Yep. And...
Yep, pretty fun and simple to use, so... Yep. And... Now it's basically how you use these things here. Focus there. This is like pretty fun and simple for little youngsters. Like I bet my niece Madeline would love this. She's she's turning five next um this month. <clears throat> so I could like buy her her own set of this. I'm sorry if this is turning out kind of bad, you guys. I I'm using like excuse me this one hand to like uh color this thing with and I'm using my other hand to hold the camera <clears throat> yeah but this is pretty simple easy yeah this is pretty simple for little youngsters And yeah, pretty fun and simple. Hang on, you guys. Let me color in Thomas's face really quick. Okay, so here's how Thomas's cute little face turned out. And let's color in his lamp like that a little bit. Looks like that or something. Yep. As I said, fun, if simple, perfect for youngsters, about like the age of like three to five or six or something. So, yep, pretty fun and simple. Yep, this is actually turning out pretty good so far. Hang on for one quick second again, I'm so sorry. Okay, so now for Thomas's cute little buffers. So hang on. Okay, so his buffers are red. So, yep. Okay, and Thomas's buffer beams are there are red. And Pretty fun. Okay, and also I colored one like a few days ago. Okay. I love it whenever it's Easter break, like it's the best time of my life. And there are like only like two more days left until Easter for this year. It's gonna be like really fun until and I'll make sure to do an Easter haul for you guys. That way you can see what I got from the Easter Bunny. I remember last year I got like a lot of Trackmaster play sets. And a lot of Trackmaster trains and a lot of other like fun stuff like that. And there we go. Thomas's buffer is all done. But not that little part yet. Right Okay, like that, or something like, like just a little simple line, and then you'll get it. And if you guys wanted to, you can like color in like one of the signals here. Just color in like circular, like that or something. Okay. And this little purr right there. Ooh, like a really nice number one. Spiffy. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you can even personalize it yourself too. Like I said. Like ugh. I love 
Blech. Thomas. Okay. See? I love Thomas. And if you wanted to, you can even make him blush a little bit too. Like, See? You can even make him blush a little bit. That's so cute. And... Yeah! So... It says, I love Thomas. And I don't, I don't think I can do the rest of this by, like camera and like filming i i'll just have to like pause the video and like color the rest and then i'll show you guys when i'm done so i'll be right back okay guys so it's all done it actually turned out really good and well i made the sides blue and decided to trim it up a little bit too so yep and yep i added some more blush onto that cheek because i think it needed more and i colored in the background yellow oh my god there's some paper on my hand okay and this is all of the scrap okay okay and i did color in that signal right there that the one in the middle except them I think I might need to, like, add some blue onto there. Hang on. There we go. Hopefully that's more noticeable for you guys. Okay. So, I hope you guys like this Crayola Color Wonder Thomas and Friends sheet that I colored with you guys. So, goodbye, and peace out.